really, what really stood out for me with the learning personas, the personas and just the, all the nuances with the personas and really spending time to understand what's going on. What do people really need? You know, the kind of the spoken and unspoken things, digging deep into the things that you're hearing. It just really, really, really resonated with me and is something that, you know, for the next, whatever the next go around is of content that I have the privilege of developing, I want to spend more time on the front end, really trying to do the research to understand the personas to ensure that there's a SPO that, and a learning cluster that really does meet the needs for wherever the highest pain point is. But I was really impressed. I was like, oh gosh, these folks on, in this session are like super talented L and D professionals, very seasoned. I learned a lot from that. So thank you, everyone. How well these strategies work in all the different fields we work in. Yeah, we're all L and D, but all, you know, higher education and consulting and, you know, community living. And it's just amazing how all using these, how the personas overlapped in so many different ways and how these skills just transfer. It's just, you know, great to see how everyone was using it for their field of study. I think after watching everybody's presentation, it just shows like how realistic these can play out, uh, that it truly can be applied and kind of like going off of what Josh just said, like, yes, it's very transferable to industries, but it's realistic in that like, I can pull this off because I have this kind of tool of a learning cluster and by using it and showing myself, hey, this works, I can totally apply it to other things that I can make learning clusters for in the future and not only like getting buy-in from my peers and my managers, et cetera, but just from myself. One more is just seeing everyone, how this idea of training, we're always adding to, adding to someone's plate. And now it's how we can still add without adding to their plate. We're giving them more resources, but it's not a requirement. It's just an asset. I saw that in everyone's presentation, how you have all these things available to someone, but they're not required. I just, the whole like cur a curated learning experience that just keeps, like it resonates so much with me. It keeps, it's just like so stuck in my head. And I think it is, there is so much stuff out there, whether it's things that we are providing for people or just even things that people can go research on their own, that it is so overwhelming at times. And I just, the curating the learning experience takes a lot of pressure off of the learner. And if you've done it the right way with the right SPO and the right you know, you're targeting the right personas and you have a way to track it. I think it just makes learning so much easier and not a chore and not a negative experience because when there's too much stuff or it's not for you, or it's like just adding and adding and adding it. I know for me, and I imagine for other people, it's so overwhelming as a learner that it makes me kind of turned off to that. So having that curated learner experience, having spent the intentional time on the front end, is I think such a powerful thing for folks today in the world, given the context of the world. And I just am so thankful that I was able to come to this class and learn this. Um, I just want to say, first and foremost, Crystal and Sarah, thank you. Thank you for leading us through this journey. Um, what, you know, I love what Donna said about from the learner perspective. And I was also thinking from a designer perspective, how many tools we've been given over the years that are just really too heavy. We, we end up spending so much time trying to build out these, like this content and we don't even spend time in the tools anymore because we're like, we have no time for all that, right? What I like about the learning cluster design, it's that it's effective while still keeping it easy enough in a way to be able to get done what you need to get done. So I was really appreciative of going through that. Uh, the one thing I would say in the presentations was, you know, it really all started with the proper SPO. To identify what the changes are, then match to the learner. And I thought, okay, that really makes a lot of sense if we're going to move away from this whole one and done philosophy and to connect with folks. So I thought that was really good. And then the other thing I really liked about it too is I'm sure everybody had to do this is really go back and look at those assets because sometimes you have ideas of what assets could work. You got to go back and double check those again. So again, thank you guys for letting me be part of this journey.